Hello everyone. Today I'm going to showcase my project, which is uh, applying commands on hand gesture recognition using YOLO version 5 small. Some might ask me, why did you use YOLO version 5 small? Like there is YOLO version 8 now, right now in the on Ultralytics. But basically, I think YOLO version 5 is faster than YOLO version 8. Like, YOLO version 8 is, has better accuracy, but uh, compared, comparing the speeds, I think YOLO version 5 is better. Uh, anyways, there are uh, YOLO version 5 small, YOLO version 5 nano, YOLO version 5 medium, large, x large, etc. I basically used YOLO version 5 small because it's well balanced between speed and accuracy, which is exactly what I needed in this model. So yeah. First of all, we collected our dataset, which is about 2,000 images. Then I removed the corrupted images, the bad images, the bad lightning, etc. Then I augmented my data using uh, RoboFlow, uh, which is a free open source uh, website, I think, that's used to augment your data, training models, stuff like that. Anyways, the data is... Uh, manually labeled, which took a lot of time, <laughs> to be honest. And yeah, I trained the model and uh, the accuracy appears to be like 95% or something like that. Anyways, so to start with our project, we imported the libraries, which are PyTorch, which is used to deal with uh, deep learning models and stuff, Matplot library, which is uh, used for Plotting the data, plotting the stuff, plotting images, stuff like that. And we imported NumPy to deal with arrays, to deal with uh, eh, arrays and stuff. We imported OpenCV, which is CV2, and Glob, which deals with a lot of files in a specific folder, or a lot of images in a specific folder, stuff like that. And OS, which is operating system, like the commands that are shut down, restart, log off. Um, Deleting a file, copying a file, yeah, stuff like that, you get it. And we imported speech recognition and by Python text-to-speech version 3, which is basically the model reads stuff I give it, or I write it manually. And yeah, so that's what that's for. And by AutoGUI, which is increasing the volume, decreasing the volume, and a bunch of other stuff that I won't get into detail right now. Time for dealing with time, which I put sleep actually in the model. And screen brightness control as SBC. That's actually just to control the brightness, yeah? Okay, then we define our player, which is uh, Python text to speech in it. And we tell the voices, I mean define the voices, which is get the property voices from the player, which is this one over here. And we set the voices to one. We can actually set the voice to zero, which is a male voice, but I think the female voice is actually kind of better. And we defined our talk, which is basically reading the stuff I want. And yeah, defining the shutdown, defining the restart, defining the logout. If I wanted to use them, if I didn't, I... yeah, they're there. Then, after we defined all of that, we actually downloaded the model. Like, I defined the model and gave it torch, by torch actually, dot help, dot load, the repository of YOLO version 5, which is actually Ultralytics, YOLO version 5, then I pass custom, custom is a, is a pre trained model that I trained, which is my model, and then I give it the path, which is best.pt. When you train a YOLO version 5, or any YOLO in regular, you get a best and last, I actually recommend you use the best, because it's the best, <laughs> yeah, and the last is the last iteration or last epoch that you used, or that happened to be trained. Then I used force, force reload to be true, just like telling the model I want to re-upload the model if I run it again. Then we have the real-time detection, which is actually opening the, wing, the webcam and detecting the hand signs or hand gestures. Okay, let's try that out. So basically, I have nine classes or nine labels, and they are 
high, live long. Actually, it, uh, it works both ways because the, that set is huge. And uh, first piece, thumbs up, thumbs down, thank you, and heart. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I have nine classes in total, and they're actually pretty good. And the accuracy is actually really nice. And it works both ways. Fist here or there. Piece here or like that. Yeah, that's it. And after that, we have reading a wall folder. This basically means I want you to read every single image in a specific folder. Using glob.glob .glob and the asterisk just saying anything that has .jpg in it jpg in it and yeah printing the results and saving them in a specific folder and then reading a single image just pass the path of the image and it it will read it and print the result and save it just like that and next and then we are applying commands in real time just as the real-time detection but I added a twist which is returning the frame as a string this frame right here or this detection right here it tells you one heart or one down one up or one hello one high yeah stuff like that so I did if thumbs up is in the uh, in the string I apply the command volume up or volume down and talk and say free Palestine or talk and say hi Stuff like that, that's the voice assistant stuff. And either volume up, volume down, and shut down, which is I, which I did as a comment because I don't want the laptop to shut down on me accidentally. And there's live long and there's hot. They actually adjust the brightness, which is 50, 75. Yeah, stuff like that. So let's try it out, shall we? Oh, hello, Hanson. <laughs> So yeah, thumbs up, increasing the volume, thumbs down, decreasing the volume, and uh, what else we have here? Yeah, peace. Free Palestine. Says Free Palestine. Hi, saying hi. Uh, live long, increasing the brightness, hot, decreasing the brightness, and first actually breaking the loop, which shuts down the model. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, please tell me in the comment section. Comment section, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you, everyone, and goodbye.